Good evening guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to a weekend vlog. It is currently Friday night. I'm all dressed, ready for a nice dinner. We're going out with Josh's family and um, I thought I would just start the weekend vlog now. I actually just literally, in the last two minutes, wrapped up my week in the life um, video. It was just like a weekly vlog and I wanted to record a separate weekend vlog. I just find it better. So I recorded Monday through Friday and now Friday evening. I'm starting my like little weekend vlog for you guys. Um, so yeah, I was meant to in my week vlog, weekly vlog, share a little clothing haul that I did yesterday. So I went to Santon, I got a new dress, I got some tops, I got a pair of jeans and I wanted to show you guys in the week vlog. I honestly though could not do it i had zero time today i've literally just gotten home from work and it is five to six and um, well i was showered and stuff but like i got home at like quarter to five so it has been a rush it has been intense so i just wanted to end off the weekly vlog and i've just started as i said now my weekend vlog and i will show you guys my clothing haul probably tomorrow little sneak peek is what i'm wearing don't you love this top Oh my gosh, but I'll share all the details and everything tomorrow, so stick around in the video, don't fast forward. Um, but yeah, I'm, as I said, I'm off to dinner with Josh's family, I'm really excited, we're going to a fish restaurant, so I think I will have fish. If you guys are not really following at the moment, I'm kind of eating vegetarian, but I have said to myself, I'm going to be lenient, if I feel like a sort of meat, I will eat it. The last time I went full on vegetarian, I honestly just like restricted myself so much that it the end of the day like i went straight back into f like fully eating meat so if i know i can cut down here there and like you know as much as i personally can that still fits my ability to like intuitively eat i will do that i don't want to go full gun and then like as i said kind of do it all in vain because then i just go back to eating meat for every like main meal so what i'm doing at the moment is like this whole week i was vegetarian and now tonight i think i'm gonna have some fish so that is how I'm doing it. That's how I feel like fits best for me and like my lifestyle at the moment and probably going forward to be honest. Like one day I hope I can be fully vegetarian, but I'm not putting that pressure on myself. You know what I mean? I will try to get a little video of what I order. We're going to a place called Fishmonger and it's so good guys. This dish that I get, I don't even know what it's called. It's like a Spanish fish dish where they like bake potatoes and stuff with the fish in the oven. Oh, so delicious. I think it's called like Mediterranean fish. I don't really know, but I'll show you guys if I get the chance. But we got a nice full weekend, but a very relaxed weekend. So tomorrow I'm teaching in the morning as per usual. I'm going to probably do my little clothing haul for you guys. I want to go for a walk. I want to go for lunch with a friend. And um, then we have dinner again tomorrow with Josh's family because they're here from Cape Town. And then Sunday, we're like moving stuff around for the beauty room, which you guys will be a part of. And um, Bri with my parents and our baby little nephew. So it's all just fun stuff. Oh, I also have a birthday, breakfast on Sunday. So it's a busy weekend, but like a fun weekend. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not like, I don't know, exhausting. It's nice stuff which usually is most weekends so i don't really know why i'm saying that but yeah i'm gonna stop recording because i actually need to head out in three minutes at six o'clock so i will catch you guys probably a little later when i show you my dinner or tomorrow oh my gosh guys <laughs> happy saturday it is pouring with rain and i didn't have an umbrella in the house i had one in the car that was good because I couldn't get to my car without walking through the rain and I'm like kind of soaked and I hit my knee into my tire because I was rushing and now I've like ruined my very cream pants with like black tire stains. So happy Saturday to me. Cool, cool. Great stuff. It is still pouring with rain. So I think it's going to rain the entire day. Guys, I'm not mad about it at all. I think this weather is so freaking cozy. Like, I'm going to teach. That's where I'm going now. It's quarter to seven. I'm going to go home to my parents, teach my classes. I've got two classes to teach. And then I'm going to come home and chill the F out. This is going to be so loud because it's proper pouring with rain. So I'm going to try catch up with you guys before I start teaching. I'm definitely going to make myself a coffee. Um... Oh god, I was like, where are the keys? I'm definitely gonna make myself a coffee, definitely gonna 
chill for like 10 men and then I'm gonna teach. And then, oh flip, I actually have a brunch today with a friend. So after brunch, I'm gonna come home and take it easy because we're just doing dinner tonight again with Josh's family so I can really chill. And when I get home from brunch, I'm gonna do my little clothing haul for you guys. I'm gonna edit my weekly vlog so that I can try and make it live for either tomorrow, Sunday or Monday. So I'm gonna have a nice productive afternoon but I'm gonna be chilling at home with some hot tea or a coffee and just to take it easy in this beautiful, beautiful weather. So yeah, let me drive to my parents. Love my wet hair. This is such a look. And I will catch up with you guys a little bit later. breakfast was such a nice morning I honestly just like feel so relaxed and so like rejuvenated I had such a yummy breakfast I know it's summer in Joburg right we are in the southern hemisphere but I'm seeing everyone like all over the world celebrating fall and like pumpkins and autumn and I just am like craving that vibe so this weather is just so nice because I ordered these pumpkin like pancakes these like flapjacks which were unreal and I just it felt like it was winter and I know it's not but in my head, in my little imagination, I felt like it was winter and it was a vibe. Um, I bought myself some flowers. They are so pretty. My yellow ones from like two weekends ago, two weeks tomorrow. I just had to throw them away today. So they lasted me quite a while. Um, and these are just such a pretty color. They like blush and like, I don't even know what color they are. White. I just think they're so pretty. And I just think they suit this weather, the cozy vibes that we have going on. So yeah, oops, excuse the light. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs and have a nice shower and get a little bit fresh. My hair needs a very big wash. And I'm actually gonna try on those clothes for you guys. Finally, I'm gonna show you what I got. I honestly feel like I got the nicest stuff. So I literally cannot wait to show you. And then once I've done that, I'm editing my video so that I can try and get it all ready and finished to go live tomorrow or Monday. Um, and then I'm relaxing the rest of the afternoon. Such a vibe, gonna watch some sex education. Love that show, wanna finish it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go have a shower and then I'll speak to you guys once I'm all clean and fresh. Okay guys, I decided to come downstairs. I was actually doing this little haul upstairs, but the light is so bad today with the clouds and whatnot. So I just thought, let me put you on my tripod and show you this way, it's a lot easier. So I'm just gonna start from the beginning. Um, yesterday I went to Santon. And I was looking for like a few like basic tops, like a pair of nice jeans and a dress for a wedding I have in December. Um, and honestly, I like, I exhausted all my options. And I thought, let me go look at Wood Tree and Country Road. And I was like, oh, it's going to be so expensive. I'm going to get them and I love stuff and I'm going to not be able to afford it. But honestly, they both, especially Wood Tree, where I got everything from, they have the most amazing like basic t-shirts and basic like cute little tops that were 300 rand like this was 300 bucks and i think for witchery and the quality and like everything that witchery has i think that's a decent amount of money like i'm honestly impressed so 
I ended up getting two different styles and all those styles I got in a few different colors. I got a pair of jeans, which I'll show you, and then I got a dress from Zara. So I'm gonna show you everything I got and I honestly recommend if you guys are like looking for something for the summer that you just want to be reasonable, but like really nice, I would go to a tree. I think it's a vibe. I think it was worth it. Okay, so let's start. This is the first little, I wanna say it's like a little tank top. It's like a crop top, bra underneath, which is, such a vibe because you don't have to actually wear anything so it holds you in place and i really think the back is so pretty it's like this like little crisscross on the back which i also think is stunning and then i got these jeans okay i'm gonna i'll do a little photo here of how they look on but i can try to stand far away <laughs> i'll stand on my couch but they're so nice like they're a little bit baggy i tried on the size six and those were a little bit tight and i'd prefer baggier because then I know like I'm comfortable and like I can eat and not feel like sucked in do you know what I mean I like comfort that's the kind of vibe I'm going for lately so I really love this top I'll show you the other two colors that I got it in but how cute what a vibe goes with so much you can wear this with jeans you can wear it with a skirt honestly you can even wear it with like formal pants like I just think it's such a nice shirt so comfortable so cute perfect length doesn't so show like too much tummy I think it like sits perfectly such a vibe let me show you the other two colors i got in it okay so exact same shirt but in like lavender how cute like i honestly am just never like a color gal like i really do like my like plain simple like black white vibes but i just think this one is so nice is the exact same shirt literally like everything's the same it's just purple <laughs> and clearly i'm vibing purple at the moment because wow that's bright but my nails are purple tops purple Super cute, exactly the same pants. I think it goes so nicely. Really love this color so much. I think it's so nice for the summer. And I also just think it's a nice change from like the whites, blacks, nudes, neutrals that I always go for. So I really love this. And the last color I got was just plain white, which I also think is really cute. Sits so nicely. They actually all have these little like bras underneath. So it like holds you in. So you genuinely don't need to wear a bra or anything. And I just think they're so nice. Like I love them so much. So simple. Go with everything. And honestly, exactly what I was looking for. Like to the T exactly. So I love it. Okay, so those are all the tops I got in this style. I'm going to try the other two tops on for you. And then the dress. Okay, so I'm obsessed with this color. It's like baby blue. Look how nice it looks with the jeans. Oh my God. I hate, like, I love my height, but I also hate my height because it's just not conducive to being a YouTuber, okay? Being tall, it ain't conducive. You have to find a high tripod or something. But anyway, I really think this is so, so nice. Love the color. You can make it, like, a little tuck and keep, like, the sides long. Or you can, like, tuck the entire shirt in and almost make it look like a bodysuit. But comfortable because when you pee, you don't have to worry about, like, unclipping it. Clipping it. Like you could honestly make, make it look like two ways. The back's just basic. It's just like a nice little tank top. And I think it's so nice. So I got this in baby blue and I also got it in like chocolate brown, which I will show you. Okay, last color, last top I got. Exact same as the one before. It's just this like chocolate brown. I know it looks black, but it actually is like a, a chocolate brown, which is so nice i absolutely love it exact same thing you can either put it fully in like that make it look like a little bodysuit or have it like loose around the edges and it just looks like quite a nice cool casual outfit please excuse this light guys i'm so sorry like it's really <laughs> the worst day i could have decided to do this little haul with the lack of natural lighting but i wanted to show you guys what i got and you know what it is what it is the light is whatever um i have the dress to try on i'm going to show you guys that oh you know what I might just put a photo here of the dress. There it is, because I'm not even gonna be able to show you full length because of this situation we got going. But those are what I got yesterday. Super happy, love everything, especially love these jeans. I just think they are such a vibe. I think they're so cute. Um, and it wasn't actually that bad. Like pricing wise, it was fine. Like for the entire summer, I'm gonna have nice tops and a pair of jeans to wear and that dress for a wedding. So like, I'm happy. I'm really, really happy with my purchases. Okay, so I'm gonna go put on some comfy clothes. I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea. I'm gonna finish editing my vlog from last week. And I'm just gonna take the afternoon to relax, take it easy, cannot wait. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys a little bit later.
guys so as you can see i've baked some cupcakes they are currently just like cooling down and then i will ice them but they smell bloody delicious and today has just felt like such a good day i can't even describe it like i just feel like rejuvenated i feel refreshed i've had such a relaxing day but also like done a few productive things like my video has been completely edited thumbnails done and it's like ready to go live like i just feel so good and i've had like the full day to myself and i've, I've really needed it like i feel like i i just needed today so badly I'm so excited for these cupcakes to be done. Oh my God, they smell unreal. I actually think I might just ice one now and just sneak it. But I, one of like the rule of baking is always let your cakes cool down so that the icing doesn't melt. But I'm just so impatient and I'm not really doing it for the aesthetic. I'm doing it for actually eating them. And it just felt like the perfect weather to bake, you know, like so cozy, raining outside. I've got my candles lit. I'm just living my best life. You know what I mean? Okay. Anyway, just wanted to update you. Having such a good day, feeling really good. I'm gonna ice these cupcakes, then honestly just chill the rest of the afternoon. It's actually almost three, so probably just gonna do my makeup, get ready for dinner, and I'll try and show you guys what I get tonight out at dinner. Um and then yeah, that's pretty much my Saturday done, but I'll update you guys a bit later. to die so i'm gonna quickly put it on charge but i've just finished icing the cupcakes and when i was icing them i was just thinking to myself it's so crazy a couple years ago i could never have made like a full batch of cupcakes and just been so chilled about it like i would have been panicking like i'm gonna eat all of them and like i'm gonna gain weight and i'm gonna have to make up for it tomorrow and don't bake them and it would be this whole saga built up in my head that why i can't make the cupcakes and now today i saw them in my pantry and i was like oh my god that sounds like the best idea ever baking love to bake love to eat the food and it's just such a win for me so random but i just wanted to say that because i just feel like the smallest thing of baking cupcakes used to be such a huge challenge for me and now it's like doesn't even doesn't even phase me it doesn't even cross my head like if i'm going to eat all of them in one sitting because i know i won't but yeah i just wanted to say that but i'm going to go charge this camera and i'll probably see you guys later when i'm ready and heading out to dinner I am all ready for dinner tonight. Guys, I've literally had one of the best days of like the entire year, I swear. I've had such a relaxing day and just done everything that I've just like felt like doing. And it's been blissful. I just got ready. Uh, I think we're leaving in about the next like 10 minutes to go to dinner and I'll definitely try to show you guys what I order. I literally have no idea what I even feel like. We're going to an Italian restaurant. So I think I might get melanzan, which is like the Parmesan um, eggplant, potato not potato tomato sauce like baked thing like almost like a lasagna but with no meat and like layers of palm what's it called layers of aubergine but anyway yeah it's delicious so i think i might get that um but i'm really excited to just go out have a nice evening and i think i'm even more excited to just sleep in tomorrow sundays are the only day of the week where i can actually sleep in other than that I wake up literally quarter to either five or quarter to six every morning so it'll be so nice tomorrow to not set an alarm and to just like wake up when my body wakes up um i have quite a busy day tomorrow so i have a friend's breakfast like brunch in the morning um and then from there i'm gonna come home fetch josh and we're gonna go straight to my parents for lunch and then at my parents we're gonna clear out the spare room so i can start putting all the stuff into my beauty room next week and i'm so excited to vlog that for you guys i'm gonna do a whole video dedicated to like unpacking and like decorating and then i'll do a, a full room tour in another video so there's a few videos coming up which i'm so excited about and i'll kind of take you guys with me on the journey of like creating my beauty room and then showing you how it looks and then finally hopefully starting clients as i said like hopefully mid-october to end october which is so exciting i literally like i just smile at the thought i cannot wait so tomorrow i feel like is like the start of all of that clearing out that room creating space for my beauty room it's just eek so exciting and i'm so excited that i can take you guys along the little journey and that i finally like shared that with you and i don't know i feel like started a little 
a new chapter, but as I said, and I've said a few times, no major changes. I'm just like adding and it's, it's really exciting. So I'm very, very excited for tomorrow to get that started and even more excited for next week to like make it feel much more real and, and start actually putting the room together. Um, but this is my little outfit for the evening. I'm honestly just in love with these jeans, guys. I'm wearing the jeans I was wearing that I showed you in my haul earlier. I just don't have any full length mirrors in this house other than upstairs and the light there is just so bad but the light down here is not that much better um, and then I'm wearing just like a full long sleeve shirt some gold jewels and then some black boots but like these are the jeans <laughs> lovely angle maybe I can like show you like this there we go how weird is this gonna be but yeah that's a little outfit, okay? Love it. Um, but other than that, guys, I'm gonna finish off today here. As I said, I will try my best to insert like a few little images or videos of what I'm eating tonight, but I'll see you in the morning. And I'm so excited, as I said, to sleep in. So hopefully I won't see you guys too early, but knowing me, I probably will. chilling i have honestly just had the best weekend and today is such a beautiful day as well so i'm really excited such beautiful weather like blue blue sky but like a coolness in the air it's unreal i think all that rain has just like made it a little bit colder but now today there's no clouds it's just like blue sky it's stunning I am sitting on the couch, gonna have my coffee, gonna watch some series. I put in the first load of laundry um, and I wanna do all the laundry, hang it all up, feed my plants, and then I'm gonna go for a walk. So I'll probably go for a walk in the next like hour and a half. Um, and I'm excited. I haven't been on a walk in ages and I'm like determined to go for one. And then at quarter to 11, I have a birthday brunch for a friend. And then this afternoon we have lunch at my parents. And as I told you guys yesterday, we are doing a few things for the beauty room. It's a very exciting um, day planned, but I'm nice and relaxed. I don't want, I was going to go for a walk like first thing. And I was like, no, I want a slow start to the day. I never, ever get slow starts to the day anymore because of how early I wake up. So I just want to sit on the couch, have my coffee, watch some TV and like, do all the laundry get it done because i think it's going to be such a beautiful day so it's going to be nice and sunny for all my stuff to dry so i want to do it as early as possible and if i go for a walk i'll just be postponing it till later so that's the plan dinner last night was unreal i had some starters so what, what did we have oh, we just had bread and like dips and stuff and then i had a mushroom uh truffle tagliatelle it was so good and then i shared a like um spinach and ricotta malfatti um with josh's sister which was also unreal so it was a delicious dinner and then we had a fagato for dessert so like ice cream with coffee mm, it was a good dinner I slept like a baby slept so well went to bed about 11 30 um and woke up really early it's just hit half seven but i woke up like 6 30 so yeah been a nice start to the little Sunday in my life um, and I just I'm gonna take it easy as I said go for a walk and I will probably just speak to you guys a bit later guys the morning honestly just like ran away and I didn't get a chance to go for a walk but I fed all my plants all the laundry's done um, and I cleaned up around the house so it was a productive morning and I also created my little grocery list and my shopping list for the week so I'm about to go do that now I have like an hour before my birthday breakfast so I thought it was a good idea to just go get that done because I've got a very busy day tomorrow so I planned out my meals for the week ahead and like obviously now I've got my little grocery list so I'm gonna go and get all that um, 
I'm making two plant-based meals and one fish dish and then on Thursday we are going out for dinner so I don't need to make anything for Thursday so it's just three meals this week and then I'll buy like all my like snacky stuff and like the just the staples that we buy every week so I'm gonna go do that now as I said like I need to be back in like an hour and then I'm gonna leave for the birthday breakfast um, and I also need to buy a new plant because I'm very disappointed in myself but I killed one of my babies I don't know how because none of the rest are dead they're all thriving and it was just the one it's like over a year and a half old so maybe it was just it's time you know maybe it was just it was just the poor little guy's time so I'm gonna go get another plant to replace it because the basket is now empty and I was looking at it the whole week and I'm like this thing is so dead I tried to revive it I was feeding it I was looking up on the internet I was googling it just didn't happen the poor guy's still gone he's now in my bin so that's what I'm gonna go do as well but I will check you guys a little bit later Okay, so I've just gotten back from um, Woolies and guys, I got the cutest plant ever. I mean, isn't this just the best thing you've ever seen in your life? It's a little mini fiddle leaf. <gasps> when I saw it, I was like, yep, she's mine. She is all mine. And it was 200 bucks, which is actually not that bad. It's so cute, I love it. So I'm gonna put it right here in this little area, just in there. That's where the other plant was that died. Um, and then a little bit of a grocery haul for you guys quickly before I get going. So if you've been following me and listening to what I've been saying in my videos, you'd know I'm trying to eat a lot more consciously, more plant-based and yeah, just in general, more vegetarian or pescatarian. I'm eating fish still. So that is kind of the haul I did. We only have three dinners at home this week. Um, on Thursday, we are not, I think I told you, we're eating out. So I don't need that many things. And a lot of the stuff I still have in the pantry, like as staples. Um, I also want to become far more conscious about making sure like I'm eating breakfast every morning. So for that, I bought some strawberries and some lactose-free full cream yogurt. Um, I know that's not plant-based, but I'm still drinking and eating dairy because I tried the oat root and I just, I don't like it. So yeah, anyway. Um, I'm gonna make like overnight oats with this, which I think will be delish. Then I've got just like a million and five different vegetables, salads, I've got some fish for a meal, I've got whole grain rice, I got some lentils, I got aubergine where I'm gonna make like a aubergine and chickpea bake, I've got chickpeas in the pantry, got sun dried tomatoes, harissa and basil for a pasta I'm making. So it's all very exciting. I'm using the Deliciously Ella app. So um, I don't know if you guys would follow un Unapologetically Kels. I think she's now Kelsey Rick on Instagram. She is my like soul sister from Instagram. Um, she told me about the Deliciously Ella app and I knew about it, but I thought it'd be quite expensive. Guys, it's 18 Rand a month. 18, like literally one eight Rand a month. So I'm gonna use that. I got all three of my meals, um, actually sorry, all two of the meals off of the app for this week the other one obviously is fish and she doesn't do any meat so i mean that is quite a bargain 18 rand and she's got some delicious things so i'm excited to make them this week but that's my little mini grocery haul um i'm gonna put it all away i'm gonna have a little bite to eat and some water because i'm quite hungry and i'm thirsty and then i'm gonna head off to the birthday breakfast Good morning guys, happy Monday. I'm so sad it's Monday. I feel like it was just the nicest weekend ever. I could have just continued on. But anywho, we have to move. So yeah, I'm gonna end off the vlog now. Thank you so much for watching. I have very exciting videos for this week, all to do with the beauty room. Yesterday at my parents' house, we completely like emptied out that room that I told you guys about and it is ready now to be filled with all my stuff so this week I'm placing like a huge concentration on getting that room together and I'm going to film it all for you guys so that you see the little transformation from what it is now to what it's going to be hopefully like in the next two weeks um so it's all very exciting but I hope you guys enjoyed this video it was actually such a nice weekend for me so I really am so glad I vlogged it all um and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great week ahead. Love you all lots. Bye.